have been getting bugged by my community for over a week that they have the absolute best gun in zombies right now. Now, I hear this stuff a lot, but most of the time, it's a bunch of you-know-what. It's just not true, right? But we had to go in and actually give it a try. So let's get in there and see if these guns are actually as good as the hype. Now, we came in kitted to the teeth with the WSP Stingers, but the real question is, how does an unpack-a-punch, no-rarity, handle a Tier 1 high-value target? We got ourselves a little mimic here hanging out. Now, you can see I put on the 20 round mags because I went for absolute speed and I love to use a good mag of holding. So I am going to throw mag of holding on there. But again, no pack a punch, no ether tools. Normally, guns really suck with tier one high value targets. Let's see how it does. Okay, you grab me, little punk. That's actually frying. We don't have dead shot daiquiri or anything, so no critical hit bonus. That completely fried. Then this is no pack a punch, no rarity. We're just going old school right now. As always, I'll have the full build for this gun at the end of the video. Hey, look, it's Mr. Peaks. Mr. Peaks really is the best. And hey, while we head over to tier two, let me share about today's video sponsor. If you don't have the time to unlock everything and need assistance in your favorite games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto 5, and more, then our sponsor, Damn Mods, is the place for you. They offer all camo unlocks, zombie schematics, bot lobbies, and more. Damn Mods has a five-star rating with thousands of reviews. Use the link below in the description and be sure to use code 1AD for 5% off your order. All right, let's try a tier two high-value target. So dangerous. Why am I doing this? I don't know. There we go. All right. So here is a high value target mangler. No pack a punch yet. We shouldn't be able to do hardly any damage without pack a punch. Let's see. Get him in his little walk. Walk, Whitman. Walk, walk. Okay, that's exactly what I thought it would be. So let's step it up to a refined Ethereum crystal pack a punch two action. Take you out. Give me some ammo. Okay, that's good. Took us up to 580 ammo. That's a good amount of ammo. Do a little ether blade there. Take care of the little guys. All right, now typically if you don't have any sort of a legendary ether tool or purple ether tool, this is going to struggle. We're still struggling for sure. But if we can break this gun off. All right, now again, we don't have any rarity. This is just pack a punch too, and it kind of sucks still. Let's shoot him in the face a little bit. No dead shot daiquiri, so no critical hit bonus. But it's doable. It's absolutely doable. Hey, speaking of Deadshot Daiquiri, there we go. Mortar Strike, don't need that. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty good so far. We've got our Tier 1 and Tier 2 baselines. Let's go into Tier 3 to see how that feels. Actually, you know what we can do? Let's put that on the Scorcher. Now we got our boost back. Boom. We're bringing boosties back. And we did just pick up Deadshot Daiquiri. A little lucky there. Let's also throw on some golden armor. No, let's not throw on golden armor. Let's make it interesting. Let's go to tier three. One of the things I've been trying to do is, is playing around with videos where I'm not editing as much. It's just more me flowing and having fun in the game. So I'm going to be doing a lot more gun videos like this. Let me know if you like this style or if you want shorter, more edited down, refined videos. I'm just kind of trying to bring you along for the journey as opposed to trying to show you all the good stuff right away. You need it right now because there's no time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, let's go grab a high-value target. Now, we are only Tier 2 Pack-A-Punch with zero Legendary at all. We should be able to do pretty much nothing right now. Oh, that was pretty good, actually. Let's see how that feels. Oh, yeah, we don't have PhD Flopper, too. Let's pop this down first because it's getting a little crazy. All right, now let's see how we handle it. Wow. Oh, oh, crap. I wasn't paying attention to my ammo. I take it back. I'm sorry. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm sorry, guys. Here. Ether blade that. Give me some ammo back. No, no ammo? Not gonna be you're gonna be like that? Oh yeah, yeah, heck of ammo. Heck of ammo. I don't know why you can reload, but we're gonna reload. There we go. Let's see how that feels. Ooh! No. Whoa, y'all, 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 y'all. We are pack a punch two right now. That shouldn't happen in tier three. Don't tell me we can take on the mangler, pack a punch two. 
Come on, give me that gun. Oh, wow. We're definitely taking the Mangler on the tier two. Look at the speed, too. I'm telling you, speed kills in zombies. If you build fast guns with tax stance. We're running tier three right now with Pack-A-Punch 2. I haven't seen a gun that could do this since, like, Flamethrower or Thermite Crossbow. This is faster than a lot of guns at tier three, dude. No joke. I'm getting careless here. This is insane. Dude, what's it gonna look like at tier three? Oh gosh. No, don't do it, don't do it. I'm too young to die. Hey, stupid disciple, get back here. Get wrecked. Woo! This is better than most zombies guns at only Pack-A-Punch 2. Is it possible that the WSP Stinger, this is the little baby handgun in Akimbo, is actually the best gun in zombies right now? I think it may be, genuinely. I'm Pack-A-Punch 2. I don't think you realize how crazy that is. Most guns are struggling at Pack-A-Punch 3 with this. How? Okay, let's go get PhD Flopper and Speed Cola, okay? If we can take this out at only Pack-A-Punch 2, that's going to be like a record. Whoa, that's doing some damage, y'all. Let me take this guy out first. Whoa. There, right here, y'all. Ooh, suck that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's take this little turd out. Get the mangler out of the way first. Oh, we got a mimic, too. Okay. We're only pack a punch, too, right now. So this is kind of crazy that we can even keep up. Oh, yeah. Forget about it. I never have ether blade anymore. Look at that. It shredded the mint. Oh, <laughs> dude. We're straight chunking these. How is this possible? Name me one other gun right now that can do this. I don't think there is another gun that can do this. Genuinely. Okay, oh we are out of ammo. Here, go get us some ammo. Oh, I see ammo on the ground. We'll be okay. Oh, yeah, heck of ammo right there. I hate lightning so much. Where are you, bro? You're inside the house? You're insane. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on, Mr. M what is going on, bro? Bro is inside the house. Mega Bomb's a true gamer. Whoa, now he's on top of the house. What is wrong with this dude? No way. We're chunking this guy at only pack a punch, too. This cannot be. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. R mistakes were made. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Give me some armor. That's what we need. Daddy needs a new set of armor. There we go. Thank you. All right. Let's fry this guy. Yeah, yeah. What you gonna do about it, huh? Dude. We're gonna beat him. I'm Pack-A-Punch 2 right now. This is insane. What's Pack-A-Punch 3 going to look like? Oh, man. This gun is... This gun isn't just good. This is probably the best gun in zombies. Chat, you're the best. Of all the bad guns you have given me, I forgive you for every bad gun. Because you've now given me... I think literally the best gun in zombies right now. The WSP Stingers. The little handguns that could. Just when you thought they had nothing left to give. Alright, so that was tier 2. Let's check out tier 3. What's up? Now, the reason I don't like using a dog when I'm doing weapon testing is because... The Mega Bombs will attack the dogs, and they'll never expose their weak points, which I really hate. So we're going to go up in the air and get him to shoot lasers. Because if he's shooting lasers, he's mine, especially at like this kind of an angle. Look at, look at the damage. Okay. Let him shoot again. Watch the damage. Tell me this is not the best gun in zombies right now. Look at that. That's a Mega. Absolutely dead. Right in front of your eyes. 
This is like the original WSP swarms, the original tier uh, snake shot pistols. This is nasty, nasty. Probably not flamethrower good, but we're right up there with top tierness. Okay, let's go. Let's go check out this mimic. This mimic is gonna die so flipping fast. Watch. All right, if you're gonna do an over under on the mimic, I'm gonna go five seconds. I'm gonna say under five seconds, we will kill this mimic. Take your bets now. Where are you, little buddy? I'll lure him out so we can get a proper test going. Hey, buddy, I see you. I'll let him jump down here. Pick these turds out. Come on out, little Mimic. Mimic did not want to jump. He's taking the stairs. He's playing it safe. So I can respect that, okay? I can respect that. All right, let's clear this guy out. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Ah, okay. That's on the over. But this is a high-value target, and he's dead. Best gun in the game in zombies right now? Absolutely. Best gun ever? It's in the conversation. Sheesh. All right, so we tested on like a high value target mega bomb. Oh, we're not gonna be able to find any, are we? Let me try something. What if we just sat in a corner here? Could we defend ourselves? I feel like we might be able to. Unless they can send like two manglers at us or something. How'd you get behind me, bro? Yeah, this is this is how powerful these guns are. Tier three, I'm chilling. I don't even need movement. We're just sitting in a corner. Very, very few, if any, guns can do this. Now, keep in mind, I do have mag of holding. Normally, you'd only have like 64 rounds each, so the reload would come into factor there. Oh, we're gonna have to move for the mangler, I think. Yeah, he's gonna jack us up from here, isn't he? No, if he rushes us, we should be fine. Oh gosh. We need some ammo. Okay, that was my fault. I didn't I didn't move around at all for ammo. That's on me. But there's a mangler dead. <laughs> so freaking amazing. For reals, in your comments, name a better gun than this right now currently. I don't think there is one. And it's a Kimbo, so you can shoot with one, reload with the other if you're not running mag of holding. It's incredible. Hey, look at that. Epic ether tool plans. Some of y'all have been hunting for that for months. Got a little lucky there. See, that's good loot. I've been getting good loot consistently in tier three. Good job, Call of Duty. I appreciate that. Bum, 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 bum. Give me one mega. Come on. Give me one mega. Please. Pretty please. Mega bomb. Mega bomb. Mega bomb. Mega bomb. Yeah! Mega bomb! Where you at? Right in the middle. I'm going to have a turret circuit, technically. No, we don't want to waste it on turret circuit. All right. The final test. The tier three high value target mega bomb. Let's get that bounty. This is actually a decent spot because I can get him to shoot lasers at me a bunch right here. This is what you're always looking for. Blow off that head real quick. Come on. Shoot it again. Shoot it again. You know you want it. Woo! Is that two heads off? Two heads removed, baby? Come on. Spit it. You're dead. You're mine. You're literally dead. Oh my gosh! Yes, that was a high value target, tier three mangler. And he is deader than a doornail. Crazy. Wow, okay. Well, I would say that concludes our incredible uh, WSP Stinger video. Are they the best guns in the game right now in zombies? Inarguably, yes. If you can tell me a better gun and a better build in the comments, please do. I will gladly test it out and make a video on it, but I don't think there is a better gun in zombies right now. As promised, here is the build, and it all starts out with the Akimbo for the WSP Stinger. If you don't have that, you don't have a great gun, but I added a few more things. Now, you can't do a lot to make it faster. The range on this thing is 
ridiculous. 3.8 meters until the damage starts dropping off. That's very close, even for zombies. So I put on the short barrel, which gives a 34% range. And then I also put on the nine millimeter high grain rounds, which gets an extra 16%. So that kicks it up to about six meters. Much, much better. Then I threw on the breacher device because it gives me a little bit of hip spread help. And then the X10 sidearm because it gives you a lot of hip fire spread. The spread is still pretty high for a hip fire akimbo, but it's all about getting close anyway. So that is the build. And of course the camo, the one I love the most under events. Crimson Worm. If you don't know how to get this one, I have a full video showing how to unlock this camo. Anybody can do it. It's on Fortune's Keep. It's still available. Check that out. The last thing to note is I am running Mag of Holding. Therefore, I do not put on a larger mag. This gives you a nice increase in speed. As you see, if you go 32 round mag, you lose speed, ADS, sprint to fire, all that. Not a lot, but a little bit. So I use Mag of Holding and not a magazine. If you don't have Mag of Holding yet, or it's still cooling down because it takes 48 freaking real life hours, get rid of the high grain ammo and go to the 32 round magazine. That'll turn into 64 rounds in each gun once you pack or punch it. So it's still pretty good. Reload's not that long. Otherwise, get rid of that mag and put on that high grain for that extra damage range. That is the build for the best gun in Modern Warfare Zombies right now without argument. Again, if you got a better one, tell me. I don't think you do. Hey, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And as always, for the newest Modern Warfare Zombies and Warzone content, I'll see you live on YouTube.